Whisper Goes West. This is a video I made many years ago. I found it on a hard drive that I had. So I'm going to re-edit it a little bit. Put some narration with it. Yeah, we stopped at Hole in the Wall. Tina and I went out for a little cruise, you see. We stopped at these various places. And a lot of times I had to use the engine because uh, there wasn't any wind. But that was okay. We were just cruising around, checking things out. Now, the guy that has this band here, he, um, he was buying a boat just like Whisper, and he asked me all about it, and he sent me some, some of this music that they make. It's a band from Vancouver. And this one here, this tune was fit the scene pretty good. Maritime. So here we are, we came into Beer Can Bay, that's the, our float house that we used to have. Norm and I built this, put it on the float. It was uh, pretty nice, we had it for 15 years. We had some good times out there solar, wind, and up the creek we had hydro, plus the generator. The generator didn't get used much because the creek produced a lot of energy. Bly Island Lodge. Next door there was a bay there that were growing oysters. Got some new neighbors. They built a cabin right up in the bush there, where the mice and the raccoons could get at them. It was kind of a rainy time, so Tina didn't enjoy herself too much, but she liked to go everywhere I went. Now we took this little pass here in between the Spanish uh, islands here, heading for Friendly Cove. Been through here many times with the power boat. Poor Tina, she's soaking wet. That dog's name was Killer. One of the lighthouses that are still manned on the coast. At least I think it is. The Spanish had a fort there years ago. 1700s, I guess. So now we're gonna sail right out to sea. I can't go too far because Tina has to get back to shore. She won't go to the bathroom on the boat. I have to get her to shore. But this boat rides really nice out in the swells. We had no problem at all. It wasn't too bad a day out on the chuck. There was no white caps or anything, so it was okay. I didn't see any other boats out here. We were the lone adventurers. Ah, 
I always thought it would be kind of cool to sail from Nootka Sound over to Tofino, but it never did happen. Maybe with a stop at uh, Hot Springs Cove. Something I always wanted to do. Now we're coming back to shore after being way out there. Oh, she doesn't look very comfortable. Maybe a little seasick. Got my whisker pole out there to hold the, the head sail out. Now we're back inside Dutka Sound. And this is Resolution Cove. This is where Captain Cook stopped and he tuned up his ships, put a new sa uh, mast on and whatnot. And these guys here that come sailing out of Nutka Sound, I saw them the next year and they asked me what I was doing over there. Thought I was in trouble. There's a few fish farms around here now. Two top marinas where we stopped. So Tina could go for a walk. You'd have to be pretty tall to use that thing, I think. The road from there goes to Gold River. In a year they are gone. So we explored inside Nutka Sound here. The off season, there's hardly anybody around. Just perfect. Not having very much fun, Tina. Look at that little kicker. It's a two-horse Honda, four-stroke. Just purrs right along. It's a beautiful engine. I just sold it to my brother for uh, his sailboat and skiff. So he'll get use out of it, too. She goes on the first pull. Now there's Camel Rock. That's where you turn out of. Well, it's uh, kind of the middle of every direction. Now we're going to go into Three Bay Cove. There's a few cabins in here. We'll have just a look around, just for the fun of it. You never know. Somebody might be home at one of these cabins. We could stop and say hi. But there was nobody around. in and out. And Galliano Bay is a little bit more wide open. Tina's comfortable now. Have a little snooze. And there we are back at Nasuk, all back on the trailer heading home to Gold River. <laughs> 